Williams. I work for the Clean Show Community Services Agency as a Community Projects Coordinator. My name is Leona Lafferty. I am the Community Projects Coordinator with the Clean Show Community Services Agency. Through some of the surveys that we've done, a lot of youth stated that they would like to go out on the land more and learn their language and their culture. Anita and I organized the first annual Zephinzida puberty camp in Gamati. Not a lot of the parents out there, you know, take their kids out on the land as much as they used to in the past. They're losing it. They're more into music and electronics. We're also losing our language, so they're just losing it. They're losing everything. Well, within the Queen Trail region, um, there's the Queen Trail Rites of Passage of Womanhood and Manhood that youth would go through as they're experiencing puberty. Everybody goes through puberty changes, and I know it's kind of scary at first, but it's a part of life. With our elders' teachings, there were certain things that they would do with young women and young men, and it was a passage that they kind of went through. When they're going through these rites of passages, they, they learn to become providers for their family, and they learn that there's certain roles that they have to play a part in. Teaching them how to respect the land, um, how to respect others, and just really experience what our elders have lived for many, many years. And it's also trying to keep our tradition alive as well. And if we don't teach the youth these things, then they're not going to be able to pass it down to their children. My name is Amy and I am a nurse. At the puberty camp, I was talking to the girls about healthy relationships and communication. And we talked about friendships and how the girls feel about themselves as, as friends and how they um, treat, how their friends feel about them and how to treat each other respectfully. And just about some of the actual physical changes that happen, the girls talked about some of the things that they've noticed in people around them about puberty, that girls, you know, start to have their periods and that kind of thing. So we talked about how to care for yourself when you start to get your period and how when you start to get oilier skin and you sweat more. For the women, they have to learn how to cook so that they can cook for their family. They have to learn how to sew so that they can pro make clothes for their family. And we're going to do some work. We're going to be quite a group later. They were very respectful to the elders. When they would speak, they would sit there and they would listen and they would ask questions. And the ones that were afraid to ask questions would ask others to ask their questions for them. One of the great experiences for the girls group was when they were able to scrape caribou hides. Because some of them said that they, they've tried it with their grandmothers and others didn't have the opportunity to experience that with their grandparents, so when they were doing that at the camp, they, they enjoyed it. For young men, there was a passage for them as well. They, they were to become the providers in their community. They had to learn how to hunt and provide for their families. Getting ready for Moose to be cut up. Bring it back to your old lady. They'll make a dry meat and give it to your camera, camera mess. <laughs> um, some young men don't hunt as much as our fathers have or our grandfathers and it's just teaching them not only hunting skills but also crafts, um, also building canoes, um, building sleds so that they can bring their family out on the land and provide for them. 
And it's just a flat here. You cut it here. Then you cut it to a small piece. Then you boil it. You eat it with fat. Very good. These are what we see, symptoms. Back when my friend and I, we abused alcohol. They talked about addictions. That was a part of it. The puberty, their body changes, suicide prevention, and how to help others. The girls didn't complain about anything. The girls had no complaints at all. They loved it out there and they had fun. I don't think they wanted to leave. I think they really enjoyed themselves there. There was a lot of um, communication building, relationship building that the, the girls experienced. And I feel that they're able to talk a little bit more because at the beginning when they were there, they were kind of shy. But now when I see them, they were all excited and they'd say hi and they'd say, I miss you. I kind of wanted to stay longer. I haven't had a chance to be out on the land like that in a long time. And I even got to make dry fish, dry meat for like the very first time. Um, when the camp ended, it was kind of sad because we met a lot of amazing youth in our region. They really enjoyed the camp part of it, like staying out in tents, being on the island, swimming. They kind of wanted more and they expressed that. They just kind of want more of the traditional things. Every time they learn a certain rites of the passage, they're learning and they're keeping um, a part of their past with them and they can bring that forward and teach their children and teach other generations. So it's just um, keeping our culture intact. Thank you.